¿Qué, qué palabra tú eres, hermano, que mandó esa bendición de ese pescado? Le damos gracias a Dios en primer lugar. Guatemalan troops rescued survivors stranded on roofs on Friday in a remote mountainous area of Alta Verapaz. Heavy rains from the remnants of Hurricane Haida have caused a massive mudslide that authorities say might have killed a hundred people. That's about 200 pounds of yellowfin tuna right there. And there's going to be some little kid on the eastern shores of Guatemala that's home was wrecked by a hurricane. He's going to get to eat some nice tuna fish. What's up, happy people? As promised, we are back. Took a lot to do this, but 24 hours later, I've got my Koa. This is my blue water gun. It's got a Neptonics breakaway tip, slip tip. I've even got my high pressure Koa float. I got a bungee. Why did I do all that? Because I cannot stand losing fish. If you watch the previous video, I lost the biggest yellowfin I've ever shot in my entire life. Now we're back. I'm rigged up and I'm ready to go. Special thanks to Jordan Doyle for bringing all the gear down here. Huge shout out to John from Koa. You are the man, you made this happen. <laughs> and it's go time, y'all. For as long as I've been alive, I've looked for fish in the most faraway places. Today, we're looking for tuna. Giant Allison tuna. A yellowfin tuna with giant sickles down his back. Let's do them! I had, I had hundreds of them swimming around me. As soon as I got in, I had to make sure my mask was recording, got the camera recording, looked down, and the world of them came to me. Went down, I went to shoot a big one and my gun was, or my, my gun was on safety. Got it off and I, I just rushed it. I picked out the first one and shot. If I would have just waited, I'm just telling y'all, we're gonna get a monster. This is ridiculous. We're out here in the middle of the ocean, 50 miles off the coast of Guatemala. We're out here all by ourselves. There are tuna everywhere. We got one in the boat. Sarah's gonna go in first this time, and then I'll back her up. Go, Sarah, drop this, drop this float. Now drop my float, drop my float.
Peter just stretched out on the spears right now. We're gonna go get Sarah's. We're gonna get that one, and then we're gonna come back and get Rob's, and then we're gonna shoot some more. We're gonna fill the whole cockpit hey, of this photo. Hey, let's go! Woo! Oh, this is unbelievable. This whole trip, this whole trip we've been here getting fish for the hurricane victims. We're about to have a lot of fish for them. Let's go. So this is as good as it gets right here. Sarah got a shaft in one that went one way. I shot one that's going another way. So I'm gonna go help Sarah land hers. And then hopefully we can come back and, and find mine. But we're the only boats here, you guys. Like this is all ours right now. Someone's gotta need a gaff. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Talk about excruciating. I'm worn slap out, we're deck loading them. Yeah. how incredibly dangerous this is. The second person with the gun has to stay way far away and hold their line so when they dive down, they're not getting their line wrapped around your head. Super, super, super dangerous stuff out here because that fast, poof, it's all over. You don't get hurt out here, you die out here. Okay, go!
actually came up and got a breath, went back down, picked out another nice one. I figure I'm looking for one over 200, but every time I get a chance to get a fish, I have to. That's what dreams are made of, y'all. They just got a tuna in the boat, and I saw some fish go by, so I threw a popper, and as soon as it hit the water, I didn't even get a twitch out of it, and it looked like it got inhaled by about a 100 pounder. That rod right there's reeled in blue whales before. We've been out here spearing tuna fish. Jake hooks one on the popper. They're cooking fish in there on the grill. This is about as action-packed day as you could possibly have on a boat. Let's get him one more roll. One more roll. Just one more round, okay? One more round. You can and I get done with you, I'm gonna have you eating thunder and crap and light. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Free fish. <laughs> All right, now you guys are back to spearing them. I've done my work for the day. I'm done. My work here is done. <laughs> great thing about all of the fish that we caught today, with the exception of what we're gonna eat here, it's all getting packed up and taken 200 miles to the area that was devastated by the hurricane. And the cool thing about it is we send whole fish because they're gonna eat every bit. Even the bones, they will boil down just to make a broth. Every bit of it's gonna get eaten. This is the smallest tuna we got today, and I'm only gonna take a quarter of it. I'm just gonna take the top loin, and that top loin will feed everybody in the whole lodge and have a ton left over. I mean, there's just something special about fresh yellowfin. Coming out nice. Look at that. Beautiful tuna loin. And then all they've got to do is come in here. Just come in here and trim it out. Now, 
if you can see, this got a little a little bleached out, no big deal. It'll still be delicious, but if you were to brine this in like a super cold ice bath, you wouldn't get any of that. Now, let's start cooking y'all. We're gonna fire up the grill. Hey, this is just another day in the life of the Buena Vista Sport Fishing Lodge, but it's a very special day for me, my wife, and my crew. This is a Trovadores Cedeno, which means, I believe, the Cowboys from the South. And they're here to play for us, you guys. Go ahead, we wanna hear it. beef tenderloin, we've got fresh fish, we've got gigantic prawns, jalapenos, which I will eat and regret later, <laughs> potatoes and avocado. Hey, 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 I wanna tell each and every one of you, no matter where you're watching, I know that this world is beat down. 2020 has been the worst year ever due to COVID. But I want you to know that life goes on and there is life going on out there right now. We've eaten amazing food. We've had an amazing time. But I promise you guys, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your support. And just get out there. Do your best. Just take a step outside, even if you're wearing your mask. Enjoy it. Live every day for its best. Love those around you. And uh, all men die if you ever really live. But that's all I got for you today. There will be more tomorrow, though. We gone. No, wait. We gone.